broadcasting from the Vatican City, si Steve Lupo for Sabado Nights, dito sa Sabado Nights with Steve Lu, Europe Edition. <laughs> Another beautiful day in Paris. It's October 30. It's gig night. Right. Mamaya na sa ladies care kami. In the meantime, I'm here on top of a footbridge in a canal here in this area called uh, near Plaza Republic. I really don't know what the area is called. Pero so looking forward. We had a great rehearsal last night. Of course, yesterday was a fabulous day kasi nga napanood natin yung tatlong superstars of Paris Saint-Germain score a goal on my side of the pitch. Sabi nga ni Papi Loloy, uh, one of the original Ascals, it's a dream come true for uh, a football fan like me who's never seen uh, that kind of action. And uh, then we had a nice rehearsal last night. So we're all ready for tonight. I'm glad that you can still join us for this Sabado Night with Steve Lou episode on Paris. And uh, I'll be vlogging all day and uh, all night, I suppose. We're going to do some uh, walking this morning. We'll have lunch first. Uh, Chinese restaurant chef. Uh, specialty down nila, Shopao. Stay tuned for more on Paris. Broadcasting from the Vatican City, ready to rock Amsterdam! In Stockholm, Sweden, my first day in Europe. Ganyan ang traffic dito sa Venice. Another beautiful day in Paris. Hello, we are here at Gro Bao, as recommended, highly recommended by our, our magnanimous host, Bunny, Bunny Bell. Thank you, Bunny. So the Grobau is a short walk away from Absolute Hotel, and um, she recommended the Chashu Pao or Shaw Pao, which is my favorite and also my daughter's favorite. And Stiff is having the beef ho fun, and we've ordered some green tea to go with it. Just something simple and light because we are going to be eating at Bobby again later. Um, and it's a lovely view uh, of the canal. We're here uh, dining al fresco yet again. I could get used to this and oh they always seem to provide like these lovely cozy little black blankets see it's a, a really nice touch and uh, we're up on the second floor and they have a beautiful seating area as you come up the stairs uh, maybe we can take a picture or a video of that later um it's got a really lovely hip that hip trendy vibe uh, i love the red red is supposed to um uh, it's supposed to increase your appetite, it's supposed to stimulate your appetite when, uh, when, so it's a good color to have in a restaurant. And um, of course, you know, for the Chinese, it is their, um, it's the a color of good fortune and pros prosperity. So I'm really looking forward to, to this. And um, apart from Gro Bao, uh, Bunny Bell recommended a couple of other places nearby. One of them a crepe place, which perhaps we may not be able to try this time, but hopefully next time. Here's our green tea. I'm going to pour the hot water into the cup with the tea leaves. Don't be afraid of spilling a little bit of water. And then I believe we have to let that steep for a few minutes. And then, as the other uh, lady had said, once it's properly steeped, we can pour it directly into our cups. Voila! Bao! Mmm, shopao or char pao, whatever you call it, is absolutely delicious with the, um, the sweet pork inside. The sweet barbecue pork, that is. And so while we're waiting for the tea to steep properly, uh, let's try the, uh, the chashu pao. So their chashu pao comes in the traditional bamboo steamer. I think they prepare it quite early before the restaurant opens as well. And look, look at the uh, beautifully bottled sauce, the bao sauce. Let's try some. Oh! Well, it looks like a traditional soy sauce. No, not quite the, not quite soy sauce. It's something else, something more sour. I can't quite place my finger on it, but uh... look at that. 
Sweet and savory. Mm. Everything a proper bun should have. Mm. Mm. And the tea should be ready now. Let's try it. Oops, that's going to need a refill of hot water. Mm. Mm. Light and refreshing. The green tea is a perfect complement to the uh, the bao and later the beef po fun. And I love how they're using um, well the typical sort of like mismatched um, uh, Chinese uh, tableware that you might find in any Chinese restaurant or uh, Hong Kong restaurants that have this uh, linoleum uh, surface at the table. So it's a very it's a very casual setup compared to the um, the inside. As I said, that beautiful little seating area, which kind of almost looks like um, uh, well, has low tables and cushions, almost like an opium den. <laughs> How decadent. Bon appétit. Mm. It's finally here. Beef open. Mm. Waited a little while for it. It came late. But I have to say, it's quite tasty. The noodles are soft and chewy. And the beef, well, there's quite a bit of it. The thin strips of beef are mm. Mm. soft, very tender, very, very tender. And it comes with my favorite coriander. Mm. So, that's it worth the wait. Oh, that was a very nice light breakfast here at Gro Bao. And um, well, the uh, the cha shao bao, the shao bao, were very light and fluffy. The uh, the rice bao outside is uh, light and fluffy, and the inside, well, meaty, sweet barbecue pork, just as expected. Uh, the uh, ho fun noodles were very soft and tender. Uh, the beef was also very soft and tender. Uh, good quality beef actually. I noticed they take very good care with their ingredients here. Even something as small as the coriander or cilantro that goes with it is fresh and crisp. Like the, uh, the mint and the lemon that goes in their service water. Uh, as you can see, it's chock-a-block, it's full you know, in diners and seems to be very, very popular. Um, and I can see why, you know, price-wise, uh, maybe an order of uh, dumplings or yumcha is quite, uh, it's probably around the realm of, what is that, six, six euros? Eight. Eight euros, eight euros, yeah, so the uh, chashu bao was eight euros and the ho fun was uh, 14 euros. Our green tea, which I thought was uh, very nicely presented, was about 550 euros. So value-wise, you know, I think it's about uh, expected here in, in Paris. A cup of coffee, a cup of tea will set you back always on average about 5 euros. This has been your uh, food duwata and food correspondent for Sabado Nights with Stiff Blue, signing off. Mwah, it's busy. Hey, hey, hey! Tulad ng sinabi ko sa inyo kanina, gig day today. Pero... So, nagtitingin-tingin kami ng shopping, dumaan kami uli dito sa Plaza Republic or Plus Republic. Since it's a Sunday and it's a long weekend, ganito pala dito. We have people playing checkers. It's really a public park. You know, this I told you about the skate, uh, skate walk, uh, skateboard, skate, skate park. May mga nagbebenta ng mga and uh, there's uh, a rally going on here. They look Turkish to me. It looks like a Turkish flag. Can't be too sure though. Then yung dito sa one side. 
the other side naman, parang may Italian contingent naman getting together. Tapos may naglalaro ng chess. <laughs> Tapos dito naman, dito pa rin yung mga nag skate Na, nag skate Parang Iranian or Iraqi, I'm not so sure. And then, here's another group. Oh, the Moroccans. The Moroccan uh, contingent here. We could ka lang ng konti. Mga Italians naman. It feels like a protest. I don't understand what they're saying. And daming police uh, in the vicinity. You know, you have some media also covering, uh, interviewing a few, a few uh, people. And uh, nakita ko nga dun, there were like five trucks of uh, five pickups of uh, uh, French police on standby but in full battle gear I really don't know what's going on but uh, seems just seems to me like a regular Sunday but uh, I could be wrong pero napadaan lang kami actually gusto ko na sana magpahinga nakita ko lang to I'm so tempted to check it out uh, to show you what happens here at uh, Plaza Republic on a day like this on a Sunday long weekend holiday pero I'm with the food the happy food diwata. Nagka shopping shopping ba? Nagka story. Oh. Copies and collectibles I was able to buy. My Sailor Moon gifts for Allegra. Alright. Ayan na. Dalawang araw na nagsya shopping ang food diwata natin. Kaya dalawang araw ng super happy. So we are both happy and tonight yes. is gig night so gig night. so time to chill right Yeah uh ano muna tayo we have a get together we have a dinner with uh, the master collodian uh, wet plate uh, art photography artist Archie's Mr Mr dangerous <laughs> <laughs> There's a song in there so Right okay so uh, just keeping you posted about the ongoings here in Paris this is Steve Lu in an ongoing journey for Sabado night. Aviento. Aviento. So coming back from Manga Story and buying my gift made me Turkish. And it's a little nippy today, so I decided to get a Turkish falafel wrap. Yummy. I can't wait to try it. Here they are. <laughs> And only seven euros. Mm. Mm. Mm, garlic sauce. Oh, oh, a flavor. Mm. Cabbage, tomatoes, onions. The falafel is lovely. Great, great buy if you just want something quick and light and easy to eat. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, all right. It's uh, Sunday night, October 30. Ito na ang gabi ng tugtugan dito sa Paki. Ayan, dito tayo ngayon sa Ladies Care. All right. Ayan, okay. So, uh, I'm so happy to be here. The weather is great. Medyo maambun lang ng konti pero tumigil na. So, Everything is a okay and ready to roll. Nagsasa sound check lang yung isang banda. While uh, we wait for our turn to sound check, we are going to start having drinks and going to meet up with the Dingeros. Pakita ko lang sa ang ganda ng venue actually. So uh, it's it's a it's a small venue. Mala ano siya? Kung naalala niyo yung club dread sa Timog, malaga nun yung dating. But um. Uh, uh, maganda yung layout, medyo may elevation, may, may elevated level, tapos may stage area, tapos may holding area. So, you know, uh, it's a great venue to rock and roll, really. And I'm so looking forward to uh, capacity down at ngayon is about 150 to 180. So, um, I think uh, we're gonna get ready to roll and uh, we're gonna, uh, let me show you the venue. 
So ayan o, oh, ladies care. Ayun din. Yeah. Ito yung mga performers for tonight. Si Maganda at si Malakas. <laughs> si Adon. <laughs> Alright. So here are the people of Bobby Philippine Food. Kasi set up sila dito. Kasi uh, they're going to sell food and uh, for tonight and of course that's the artist entrance we got the bar over here and some chairs and tables like right there and let me show you the way this is the end ayan tapos may bar pa uli rito syempre hindi mo wala tapos ayan Magiting na drummer si Christian from ano ba? Uh, Manawag. Manawag. Manawag, Pangasinan. So, habang naghihintay tayo ng turn natin mag-sound check, uh, pag-iisipan namin kung paano namin gagamitin yung dala niyang baon na drumsticks. Yeah. At <laughs> napaka-press ko noon. Bago. Bagong bago. Alright. So, yeah. Kompleto na kami. Nandito na si Israel. Nandito na rin si Kevin. So, hinihintay uh, lang, inaayos lang yung, inaayos lang yung tunog. Ang ganda ng stage. At ang aking brotherhood. Saba. Saba. Yan na. Si Israel, keyboards. At uh, abang naghihintay lang tayo rito ng... Uh, ano ba hinihintay lang? Pagkain. <laughs> Ano na sinisetup na para sa inyo? Ano ba? Ah, yun yung sound uh, rec natin. Naayos lang yung uh, monitoring para maayos ang tugtugan. So, alright. We'll check it out. Ano nga pala natin si, si Sir Kevin? Oh, <laughs> recently married and uh, all right uh, you know the last time i was here in 2019 kevin was kind enough to give me a, a styling of my uh, yeah. hair right? libre pa libre pero pinakain ng mga tanong oh yeah i remember oh, yeah, 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 yeah. thank you so much thank you thank you sir <laughs> thank you sir much yeah, needed so Kevin is a multi-instrumentalist. Baka uh, hindi magtatagal, makikita nyo na to sa Pilipinas. Makapanood din nyo. Gagawa ng project. Yeah. Magkukulap ta kami ni Steve. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, this is Steve Lu for Sabado Night. Really, really excited for tonight. Just a little bit. Honestly, it sounds very good inside. Ay, it seems like, you know, ang tagal nang tinimpla. Pero maayos yung tunog. But this is, uh, let me introduce you to my friend Eric over here, our bassist, the bassist of InVibe. You know, he fixes a lot of those uh, multi-track recorders. He has like maybe... Uh, how many machines do you have on there? I don't remember. <laughs> you must have more than 20. It's all over scattered. In this, uh, we had a rehearsal at the Eric's place last night. Fabulous place. You know, he has a nice setup. He has an X32 mixer and uh, fully equipped. And also, we can stage a concert in his uh, driveway. Next time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> 